and we welcome to Inside the NBA two-time Academy Award winner Denzel Washington. Thank you so much for. Uh, yeah, we, we're in the presence of greatness here, fellas. Yes, we are. We only yeah, got two. This is wonderful. You, yes. This is, you know, you were. I actually, know how you feel, Denzel. Yeah. <laughs> you were actually on the show last night, Denzel. You may not be aware of that uh, because. Kenny Smith's gone fishing segment when we, <laughs> when we salute the teams that did not make the playoffs. Apparently, you, you did go on a fishing expedition with Kenny and, uh, and this crew uh, uh -oh. from L.A. because the Lakers uh -oh. and the Clippers didn't make it, so you, you, you are right. It's in a the, rebuilding year. You are right in the mix <laughs> there. So That's a good way to put it. Yeah, congratulations <laughs> on making the, uh, the gone fishing thing. So what, what was your take on, on what you saw from the Lakers this year, huh? It's 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 a it's a rebuilding year. I mean, uh, it's a rebuilding year. I, I think I think there's some promise though. I think that uh, they have a lot of good young talent and and some surprises, and uh, you know, need a couple of pieces, uh, big pieces. But uh, I think we're we're getting there. Is that, you know, I saw Equalizer 1. I'm looking forward to Equalizer 2. How much special ops training or stuff do you do to get ready for a role like this? All, all the fighting you see me do is me. Is that the way you used to fight growing up? Or you said it's me as in <laughs> you, you know, from my running now, we had to, you know, <laughs> we had to put it down. No, no, we we get a lot of training and, 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 and a lot of experts that show you the, the, the things to do. But... Uh, I have a, I, I do have an excellent stunt man. I shouldn't I shouldn't say it's all me because it's not. I'm not jumping off of nothing. <laughs> you know, Denzel Shaq here. I, first I of all, I tell you, knees. Shaq here. Tell your lovely wife I said hello. Second of all, I'm sitting next to Chuck, who's done hor horrible movies. You've never done a horrible movie. I would like to know your process on how you pick your movie because I've been watching you since Mo Better Blues and even before that, and I've never seen you do a bad movie. No, I, I've done I've done a couple of bad ones, but they they don't they don't last long, and and you try to forget about them. But uh, uh, earlier on, I, I I haven't I haven't done a, a too bad of one lately, but I, I try not to. But uh, early on in my career, I had a couple that I could I could forget about. You know, we all know that you're a great basketball fan, but. What's your favorite year or years to be a Laker fan or basketball fan in L.A.? Wow. Well, I mean, come on. I mean, uh, you know, to, to, to be there through. I, I was at the game. Me and Robert Townsend were at the game when Mikhail clotheslined Rambis. <laughs> and we bought season tickets that night. Wow. We signed up for season. So I've had season tickets every, I don't know if somebody could, could look that up. That was 80 something or whatever it 86. was. 86. It was 86? Yep. We, we had seats before then. We would buy odd seats here and there. But that night, I bought season tickets. I've had season tickets ever since. You know, Denzel, I got a question. I always ask my active friends this. <laughs> if you've had an amazing career, obviously, have you ever been making a movie and like right in the middle of the movie, you saying, this is not going to be. A good movie. Yes. <laughs> I've said, what day is, how many days we've been shooting? They're like, well, this is the second day. <laughs> yes. I've been in a couple where I, I knew, I was like, oh, boy. You know, but then, you know, the house bill, the bill's got to be paid. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I actually said, I said that in the movie once. Do, do what you got to do so that you can do what you want to do. <laughs> and so some of those movies was what I had to do. <laughs> we know how, how big a sports fan you are. We, you know, Charles and I were even talking about uh, watching Remember the Titans on numerous occasions. Your son played football at Morehouse. Uh, aside from the, from the movie part of this business, the value of sports in general, in your mind, is what? What is, in the big picture, where is the value of sports day to day? Everything. Everything. I, I grew up in Mount Vernon. I grew up in the boys club, now boys and girls club. I grew up a, a, around and with some great basketball players. Gus Williams was a, ahead of me. Ray Williams was in my class. Earl Tatum was in my class. I coached the McCray brothers uh, in, in, in rec ball. So the lessons, aside from their greatness as players, but the lessons that we all learn through sports, you know, fair play, how, how to win with, with, or lose with, with grace and, 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 you know, just the lessons you learn that, that then I shared as a, 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 as a coach and, and, and growing up, you know, you, you, you can't replace that. It's pure. 
it's purer, you know, even even in the even in the business I'm in with awards and all of that, that that's someone's opinion. But a game, especially at, at that age and at that time, was pure. And, and uh, I loved it. I mean, I can remember guys shoveling snow for Earl uh, Earl Tatum, you know, so he could shoot jump shots, you know, and them calling him the black Jerry West and and us feeling as young kids that we were a part of of his success and, and, and some of the other great players, you know, right on down, like I said, the McCray brothers, Lowe's Moore, who also came out of Mount Vernon, and Ben Gordon, who also came out of Mount Vernon. So I, I, I wouldn't change a thing about the way I grew up and, and the guys I grew up around. Denzel, before you leave, can you uh, uh, hit us off with that King Kong line? King Kong, <laughs> I'm putting cases on all you. <laughs> can you curse on it? You can't curse on it, can you? No, no, you can't. I'm putting yeah. cases. You'll be playing basketball in Pelican Bay when I get two programmed. 23 hour lockdown. You think you can do this to me? Shaq, you think you can do this to me? Oh, my God. I appreciate you, brother. Well, he, he, hey, got, my man. he got it. Who has been your favorite real life person to play, whether it's Malcolm X? Coach Boone, uh, who's been your favorite real-life person to play? The most pressure, without question, was Malcolm X. There was a lot of pressure from a lot of people, like, you better get this right or, you know, you'd be, you, you ain't going to make it for dinner. You know, so, <laughs> that, that, yeah, that, that, that was the most pressure. Not, not actually playing the part because I, I played the part in a play about 10 years before the movie or 15 years. So I knew I could play Malcolm X, but just the pressure that came from all sides, uh, by far, that was the most pressure. You know what? Um, for me, Fences was one of the movies that, you know, kind of changed the dynamic. You went from a play into uh, a motion picture. And I actually got to go I don't, to your, your um, you had your cast when you, you guys were just talking yeah. about it in the theater. I was actually there with my daughter, inspiring actresses actress and we took them there. I took them there to just hear you guys talk about how you made that. For me, what I related it to was going from the, uh, the, the like the practice field into the game field because there's such a difference between film and a, a, play. a play. How would yeah. you how would you relate that into in terms of sports? It, 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 in terms of sports or oh, and just in general? Well, that I mean, first of all, let me say this. I was up there fighting for my life with Viola Davis because she was bringing it. <laughs> she was bringing it yeah, every night was. when we did the play. I'm like, this child ain't playing. She she means business. She she she's one of my favorites, and 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 I knew it long before Fences. I actually cast her in the first film I directed, Antoine Fisher. So we had such a great cast: Michael T. Williamson and 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 Stephen McKinley Henderson. It was just a it was a it was a great experience all the way around. And you're back on the Broadway stage later this month, correct? The Iceman I'm, I'm cometh. I'm on it tomorrow night. I'm 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 uh, doing the Iceman cometh. I got a real job. I got a jobby job. <laughs> uh, hate hate that you're going to miss some playoff action, but uh, you, man's got to do what a man's going to do. That's correct. Hey, so he can do what he wants. Yeah, thank you so <laughs> much, right. man. Do thank what you, you got to do so that you can do what you want to do. We That's appreciate it. you being with us. Thanks so My much. Pleasure. All right, all right, brother.